All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more EA Sports PGA Tour. And today we are going to be playing on the easiest difficulty in the game at Augusta National with Scotty Scheffler. I want to see how low we can go. I'm also going to do a video on sim settings, hardest difficulty, hardest everything, no green grids, nothing. I'll probably have that video up tomorrow, but I wanted to do the easiest first to just uh, set a record here at Augusta. Now, uh, what, th my best round on Augusta on the hardest difficulty I'm pretty sure it's like one or two under like I've been I really struggled on this course on the hardest difficulty with tournament settings We're still playing tournament settings, but I'm playing on the easiest difficulty I thought this would be fun now. We can mash drives as well Now the problem is I can't really mash drives because I use both my fingers. Well, actually, you know what I could do? Oh Yeah, I'll use this controller genius. Hang on. I'm gonna set my uh, set my button down here to X I want that to be X I want that to be circle and apply so that means I can actually tap the tap the trigger on the way back to get a little bit of spin genius I never even thought about that. All right, let's see because I, I haven't done any of this yet I've never done the uh, the overpowered or the spin in this game so far But really interesting to see exactly how it works. I don't even know how to do the spin Look at that. Look at that power. How much further does it actually make it go is the question. Oh my god a lot further, huh? A little bit too far. That's into the pine straw. That's going to be a little bit of an awkward one from the pine straw there. It might actually take me out of that because I think I'll be uh, on a tree otherwise. Oh, shit. Didn't realize that this, this members thing was on. But if you want to become a member, feel free, guys. Pine straw. All right. Uh, I got a decent life in the pine straw anyway. Play a big, big draw here and try and get this to stop on the pin. It didn't take us out. It seems like they put us further in, actually. <laughs> they just put me further into the tree. Am I, am I even... I'm swinging back through a tree now. This is weird as hell. All right, let's see. How do I do the spin? Oh, shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing with the spin. <laughs> I was just pressing the wrong button completely. I think it's L1 and tap X. Is it? I was using the, the left stick and I was moving the camera. I was making everything all confusing. But uh, let's see. They're going to give me a putt read here. Uh, that putt read just does not seem right, does it? This for birdie. Yeah, Rich, this is going to be a really slow one because we're going right back up that slope, but it's straight. So yeah, I see. I mean, that's just a lie, right? It was so much further out. All right. It's going to be a par on one, not what you want to start on. Start with. Might not even be a par, to be honest. All right. We'll take a par. My first time playing with the settings, I'm still getting used to them and stuff. I don't know how the hell the spin works. I think it's tap L1. And out of the second 575 yard par five down the hill and move with the right the stick National, is it like how do i get the direction this first nine is it with the right this stick? is a place where you can make something we'll try it here. happen and jump start your round we'll try it here anyway power drive with scotty scheffler big draw let's see we're gonna tap x on the way back oh my god we got the launcher look at this boom <laughs> I've never, I've never got one of them before in my life. Oh my god, that's a 600 yard drive there. I'm just kidding, but it's kind of fun to play on the uh, on the arcade settings for once, you know. So wait, what do I do with the? How do I do the spin? Obviously, I got to do it in midair, right? I think it's L1 and top X, but I don't know how to get the direction then, right? So L1. Okay, so spin direction is the same, but the spin direction then is the same as the camera, is it? That's kind of weird, if so. Spin L1 X. So I'm guessing it can be either? Is that what it is? Or one or the other? I don't know. <laughs> it's confusing to me, honestly. But let's try to get an eagle here. Try to get a little eagle here. From Scotty the man. See, when I, like... I don't know. How do I do that? Did I get any of the spin there? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I have to do L1, like old L1 and X or something? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm stupid. I probably should have figured this out before I got in. Get in there, baby. Oh, Scotty! Hop in, bird, on the second. We'll take it. Can't even hold the putts with a bloody, uh, with a line telling me where to go. But it's not always accurate, to be fair. Not always accurate. Apparently, it's only a guideline. It's not like 100%. And with the green grids the way they are at the moment, definitely not accurate. 
Onward now to the classic. All right. Yard Let's go, baby. Flower and Peach. Can we reach this with a with a power drive? With short of the potentially, bunkers. yes, I would say. If we, into this green, we power this bad boy, I think right we can. All right, let's try it. Power drives really do add something to it. We got it again. Yeah. That's on the green. Scotty Scheffler's on the green, sunshine. Oh my god, that actually might be so good. Oh, that was a beautiful. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Everything working in harmony. That's good. That's actually unlucky. In the fairway. Because the spin, like I, when I'm spinning, it's moving the camera. Like, how am I supposed to? Maybe it's the right stick, and I just got it wrong. I don't know. Lasers in the eyes are back, baby. Get out of here, guys! So Come on. Big drive, and not much needed to carry here for his second. That's a good shot from Scotty Scheffler. That's a good shot. Good shot indeed. Well done, Scotty. This well done. Moving left here for birdie. Yeah, good birdie. Back to back birdies. Let's go. All right, how low can we go? I want to be at least, at the very least, double digits under par. I feel like we should be going like 15 under on these settings. But seeing as I've never played them before, I feel like uh, we might not be as as consistent with them. Right. I think I figured the spin thing out. I think it is the right analog. It says left analog because maybe they expect you to be using the left analog or something. I'm not sure. But uh, let's go with the four iron here and try get the try get a little bit of backspin going on this one once we uh, once we get it up there on the on the green. So we want to be L1. We want to be tapping X. Okay, I did put some spin. You can see the little bar there. But obviously it wasn't enough with a 4 iron. So we're still 30 foot past. But now we know how to do it at least. I just got to be using the actual the right stick. And I can actually use X as well. I can tap the, the paddle, which would really help. Give me that. Come on. That's good. Too much juice, man. Dang. All right. Not a bad effort. It's going to be a, a boring old par here at the fourth. And that's why I'm good. I'd say 10 under is a success. All right. I know it might not seem like it, all things considered. But first time playing this difficulty, I think it is a success. If you want to buy Rogue Energy, by the way, guys, you can get 20% off using my code, the Apex Hound. Uh, and sorry, I'm a little clueless with the spin here at the start as well. As I said, I've never played these settings. So I'm like a, a deer in headlights here with the with the actual easy settings. Because <laughs> I'm always playing hard sets, you know. I'm cool like that. Bang. You can turn these animations off as well if you want, by the way, but... For the video purpose, I'm leaving it on. Scotty Scheffler mashes one down there. That's an absolute beast of a drive, man. It's weird playing on what, easy settings, though, getting a perfect tempo. Like, I never a get a perfect result. tempo yeah. playing this game. It's crazy. Like, it's so rare when I get a perfect tempo. It's like once a round or something. Now All right, let's see what we got here. 162. All right, 162. Is this going to be too much, then? I think this should be pretty good. Let's see. Good chance at one. Yeah, put a little backspin on that, and uh, that works out nicely. You just got to kind of get used to putting the analog towards the hole as well, and like exactly how to use that spin. Because that just is going to be ridiculous, ridiculously OP once you do get used to it as well. Slide a tasty bit right, all right. We should be able to make this one. And indeed we do. Come on, Scotty. Three on the two. Five. Three threes in a row. And we're looking good, baby. We're looking good. All right, on arcade, boys. If I get a hole in one on arcade, do I even count it? Like with spin and and uh, I don't know. I don't even. I don't even know if you could count that. A two-tiered undulating green that will absolutely test you. All right. Let's see. All right. I, I feel like this could be a pretty good club here. A little bit of wind, put a little bit of height on it, and just we can always spin it if we need to. Anyway, let's see. It's gonna be long. Uh, oh, that's gonna be pretty good. I don't need to spin that one. I don't need to spin that one. It's a foot away regardless. It's a bloody foot away regardless. What a shot! Tap in birdie there for Scotty Scheffler, and that's just pure talent there. We didn't even have to use any of the uh, any of the assists there. It's just a beautiful birdie. Four on through six for Scotty Scheffler. And we're looking good. We're looking good here on the easiest difficulty, my friends. All right. Should I do 
Sim difficulty in the tournament, I think. I think I'm going to do the tournament sim difficulty. I don't know if that's at Augusta or where it's at, but uh, wherever it is. It would be interesting if it was at Augusta to see our differences, though. Like, the differences between playing on sim and playing on arcade. Because um, I feel like this game has such a good range of difficulties that it, it just makes it... Um, so that you can customize it in the best way possible for you, and that's what I really appreciate about it. Down on the difficulty course, wise. Let's check in with Nota Begay the third. Nota Begay. One seventeen to the hole, swinging it great today. Mm, Would not I think I can hit this. He stuck it close. Maybe we need a little bit of topspin on this if we do. All right, not with that. I don't think we need topspin. No, we might. We might still. Oh, what a shot. Go in! Oh, no, I overspun it! Don't go off! No, I overspun it! That's the problem when you don't know how to use it, man. I just overspun it. Can you cancel it, I wonder? Like, can you cancel the spin if you uh, if you realize that too late that you don't need it? Because, man, that was going to be a that was gonna be an easy birdie if I just left it alone. Muppet. All right, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Nearly older for the birdie, and that's going to be a disappointing mm, par there. We just overspun it, and that's the Ag Augusta Greens on tournament conditions. You got to be careful, man. You got to be really, really careful. I'm mixing Rocket Pop with Rainbow Candy today, guys. Good mixture. Rogue is kind of sold out of a lot of stuff, but they're restocking soon. So if you've been waiting for a restock, it's coming soon. The website, I know, a lot of the tubs are sold out. But use my code, the Apex Town, when it's back in stock. And uh, we'll be looking good. All right. Yeah, we need to we need to make a couple of eagles to make up for some of these pars though, because this is um this is where we can really gain ground with the power drives and stuff like that, and even the power three woods and stuff like that. You can do that on every shot if you need to. Like if we need a, our second shot, I don't think we will need to do it here, because. Our drive is going so far that we won't actually need to do that with our second shots uh, at any point throughout this course. But if you were playing like a 600 yard power five and you needed to power two shots in a row, you could. Or if you're in between clubs. Where's that pin at? All right, let's do it then. All right, let's go, Scotty. Come on, baby. That's what we do. All night long is what we do, Scotty. Come on, baby. Wow, even with the... Okay. Okay, okay. That is just gone so far past. The four irons really do run for days. Like, it, that's where... With these irons, you could just put max backspin on them. And it would probably still not stop in time. Oh, it's one of these ones where the view is all fucked up. Yeah, they still have these, huh? They need to fix this. I thought that they did fix it, but... Nee. Not yet. That's a little too much juice as well. Jesus Lord, we've left ourselves a tester for birdie now. I was talking about how we need to make eagles on these olds, and now we're struggling for birdie. Maybe arcade isn't as easy as, uh, well, I mean, Sloaner in the tournament. The arcade tournament shot 23 under, so, you know, but Sloaner is a cheater, as we all know. I've, I've parred it. I've bloody parred it. I'm just kidding on Sloaner, by the way, because people actually do think he's a cheater. He's not. He's just really good. <laughs> he's really good in 2K as well. He's just a freak in nature, man. All right. So this will be a par. He streams as well, so he's, he's legit. Four under through through eight holes. We're averaging a birdie every second hole here. That's just not good enough on arcade, man. I mean, I'm still getting used to it, but that's just not good enough. But you can certainly feel it as you make your way up to this ninth green. Oh, it didn't give me the power thing. Yeah, I kind of got used to that now. Look how far down that is, though. <laughs> I'm carrying 350 like that. Yeah, That's insane. That How am I still only four under? Good lord, man. Nine. Good lord. That's absolute insanity. All from right. The fairway. Let's go to Noda. Well, from this Noda section, the game. The fairway, you have an opportunity to get the ball close. Right, I'm putting this close with this. this Watch. Green. It's going to require some good calculations on yardage and proper execution to get the ball to sit on the right plateau. I don't know what to do with this. I don't think I need to spin it. It's going to naturally spin. No, 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 no. It naturally spun too much, man. I should have put some top spin on it. It's coming off the green, is it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, thank God. I thought That's it was coming off the green. Still a 40-footer, though. From, uh, relatively ah, close you know, I mate. I looking at 10 to 15 feet. It was 75, to be safe. I, I, was, I was like, are they not even going to give me a line here? They're just like, you're on your own, kid. Come on, baby. No! I had it out further, but then the, the line threw me off, man. I would have had it if I actually went with my gut rather than the line. Stupid, stupid, stupid. No way it turns that much. 
It does. It does. Thank God I listened to it that time, though. Another par of four under front. I can do that on fucking pro or tour, for God's sake. Well, I can't, actually, because I shot, like I said, I think my best round at Augusta is like one or two under. On, um, I chose a tough course, to be fair. I mean, Augusta's a beast. Then you get up to that challenging little par 312. I can get down to those bunkers nearly, I'd say. I don't even know if I need to power this right. Look at that. <laughs> the red is completely filled up. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I needed to do it this time. That's in the bunker. Stop, oh, maybe? Oh my god, it's well, actually going to stop beforehand. Wow. Drop it <laughs> and that. that is a fine tee shot right there. Let's go, baby. All right, this is the one now. Come on. So Iona, this his second from the Iona fairway. Steven, baby. Come on, girl. Yeah, we're looking at 132 yards. Go heavy, go with it, Iona. And the pin on the back portion and the I feel like this could be good without any spin. Screen. And this is looking really good. Yeah, spin now. Okay, maybe I need a little extra. I thought I was gonna spin more than yeah, that. I guess downwind so downhill it's gonna be a little tougher good to chance. spin, but we're giving ourselves a good chance this for Birdie here on uh, on ten to get back in uh back in with a shout here. Well, we need this one. We need this one, Turlock. No way, man! How does that miss low? Incredible. Incredible. The putting's so difficult, man. Putting's so difficult. I'm watching. Re I'm in the process of watching Respawn's video on uh, on putting, but I haven't finished it yet. I need to finish that video before I come back to this. <laughs> All right. Hey, no worries. Now at 520 Hole 11, 520 yard par four. Yard par four. We need the power drive for this one, definitely, to give ourselves a better shot. In 2022, which lengthened the hole a good 15 yeah, yards. Yeah, there we go. So Look at that. Now, Bombs. Navigating a tee shot down the Let's right go, side baby. brings more risk into play. All right, there's no risk in play with that drive. I can tell that much. That's 370 odd yards. We'll be able to go at this one, nice and easy, and give ourselves a chance to make a birdie. Hopefully, I need to make some birdies, man. I made like three pars in a row or more. I don't know. Crazy. It's only a nine iron too. Right, this isn't gonna be enough, is it? Well, with the overswing in the end. Ah, see, I was too late with the spin that time. I didn't know, though. It looked good in the air. It was kind of hard to tell. It's not that far off, to be fair. Well, a footer. I should be putting them to, like, a foot or two on these uh, on these difficulty settings. More often than not. There you go. Birdie, baby. Come on. Back in business now. I want some eagles here on the back nine. I want a low back nine. I want to get to 10 under, like I said. I said 10 under was a minimum. I need five birdies from here until the end to make that a reality. How about a hole in one here? <laughs> Did you guys see the G-Dog clip, by the way? <laughs> oh, G-Dog, man. It went in for him, and then the pin just popped it back out. It was one of the funniest clips I've seen in this game in the history of, the history of sports. Honestly, one of the funniest clips I've seen. All right, let's see what this got. That looks good all the way. I don't think I need to do anything to this. Oh my god, what a shot. Oh my god, what a shot. That's more oh, like that it now. Is some kind of nice right there That's more like it now. Come on, son. I keep using the Ryan analog on this on this uh, bloody spin as well. Alright. Jordan Spieth could have done with that a, a number of years ago. Yeah, good job there to catch but it's a two. And, and we got a par five coming up. We got two par fives in the next three. Come on, I want at least one eagle here. I want at least one eagle. Especially with the way that the uh, the fifteenth plays, like thirteen, we can definitely go, but the fifteenth, like the, the spin, could be massive there. Make some noise today, maybe a new one. Dang, absolute money, man. The perfect tempo just feels so wrong, honestly. <laughs> All right, yeah, the long irons being able to sit here will will do wonders for us, actually. Hundred and seven. I won't even need a long iron there. One seventy, one eighty. It's an eight iron for Scotty Scheffler. Check in with Noda. Tough proposition. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hit this straight up, you know. Fairway ball a little bit of height. Feet and green is angled away from you. Gonna so good. Take a good one. So smooth. I don't know what to do. Put a little bit of spin on it, but it was too late. All right, we have 13 foot for an eagle, though. It's not the best. It's not the worst. I need a little bit more backspin on that one. In the entire sport, the second at 13 at Augusta All right. National. How do you do with that one? That was bad, great, eh? Rich. This is the most famous par five in the in the world. One of the reasons why, too, not just the dog leg left that the whole presents. Come on back down. Come on back down. Dang it! I gave it too much. I was thinking that too. The line was going out that far. You know, it's hard to it's hard to judge. Okay. Birdie. Three in a row. But I wanted an eagle. Damn it! We're not going to get many better chances than that for eagle. 
Not at Augusta, anyway. Seven under. We need three more birdies to get to ten under. We can still get twelve under. Let's birdie every hole. Why not? There's no reason we can't birdie every hole. Absolutely none. Is the challenge here? All right. Let's see. Let's bomb one down there for Scotty. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Just got to hold a little bit longer at the top swing, I think, to get the to get that bang bang. We haven't got it since maybe the eighth or seventh hole or something. There you go, Scotty Scheffler is gonna bang one down there. Cause we've had the red fuller than that, but I think it's all about the overswing as well. That is a big drive there. Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Scotty Scheffler. It's not one of my longer ones actually, but it don't matter. Let's go to Noda. The most attractive feature. Now this is gonna spin too much no matter what I do. So I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna put some top spin on this. It's the. No matter what it does, I'm gonna play some top spin on this. See? Genius. And then it doesn't spin as much. Genius. Oh, just a, but there's a number of ways you can use that spin, really. Like you can use it to stop it getting so much spin. <laughs> so much natural spin. No, why is that lying? I'm gonna just gonna pay it, put it in there with power. I don't care. I don't know. It does seem like it turned left. But the line was going right, so it lied. Four birdies in a row. Come on, boys. Eagle to get to 10 under with three to play would be tasty. I'll be tasty. I'm th I can get it down a wedge distance on this one, to be honest, with a with a big power drive. I think so. Added an extra 20 yards to the hole. Come on, Scotty. Well, place tee shots to the right side. Oh, I just hold it. I love it too long. That was bad, man. That wasn't great. I needed more than that. Dang it! Has also been increased. In more power than that. And I didn't yeah, need the slow. Another great t -shirt. I could have got that like 370, I feel like. But I don't, well, not even 350. I could have got that actually like 30, 40 more yards, I feel like. All right, all good, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the 7 iron. And I'm actually thinking that maybe this could be okay without anything on it. But we'll see. We'll be able to judge it maybe in midair. I don't know. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, it's 7 foot 10 inches for Eagle for Scotty Scheffler to get to 10 on the par. He waves to the crowd. The former Masters champion. He's a Masters champion. He's not the Masters champion anymore, but he's still a Masters champion. John Ram took that title from him. Scotty Scheffler still has the chance to make an Eagle to get to 10 under here. For an Eagle. Come on! It's about time I got a bloody eagle. It's about time I got a bloody eagle on this difficulty. Come on. That's more like it, sunshine. Beautiful. All right, let's birdie this one. This is where the spin could come in real handy now. Holes like this where there's like lots of little different undulations on the green. All right, that needs backspin for sure. Does it? Ooh! <laughs> It didn't need that much spin. I'll tell you that much. It would have been probably better if I left it alone. I mean, this is a clinic in how oh my god. Just keep okay. Whole high it zipped across there. I've left myself a much tougher putt than I would have had from that side. Chance now. Tell you that much. Another birdie. No. See, the last time I aimed above it and it went on the on the high side. This time I, I I aimed a little bit below it or like in the middle of it and kind of just went on the low side then. God dang it! Silly par. Should have been a birdie. It was such a good tee shot. Such a good tee shot without the spin. I thought I was trying to get the hold of one. I did, I, if I tapped it a little less and spun it a tiny bit to the right, it would have been ideal. Yeah, how about that tree that fell down at the Masters, though, boys? That was crazy, right? A little slow on that one. Not perfect, but it's, it is perfect, really. I mean, the slow 1% ain't going to harm you too much. Uh, I'm starting We're still going to go 340-odd. 332. All right, come on. If I don't even shoot a 59, and that's embarrassing. Really I'm not going to shoot a 59, I just realized. Knock it on the green. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take the spin off this one as well. No, 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 knock the back spin. Kind of put some backspin on it as well, which I didn't mean to do because I was trying to get it to go left. I also kind of pulled it back a little bit. But not the end of the world. Alright, yeah, this one. Come on.
No fucking come on! I flat out suck at putting. I definitely need to watch the the rest of Respawn's putting video. And any of you guys struggling with putting, I'd highly recommend watching this video as well. Respawn uh, on on YouTube. Respawn Sports. Oh god damn it, man! Nightmare. All right, let's try finish 11 under. Come on, let's birdie the last and finish 11 under. Be solid. I need to try this again on the easiest difficulty because I feel like I've got a little bit used to it now, you know? Like, I could definitely do a much lower round on the easiest difficulty now, 100%. Bomb there, though. That's going to be in the bunker. Didn't fade it enough, huh? Jesus Lord. I'm missing fairways. You know, I'm missing fairways on the easiest difficulty here. I don't even miss them on tour. Alright, here we go now. This is going to be a genius golf shot. Watch and learn. Uh, I'm going to not even use spin here. This is going to be perfect. Watch. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Not gonna lie to you. That's pretty damn good. Four foot seven inches away for a finishing birdie here. Scotty Scheffler is gonna clean up here. For a 61, is it? I mean, that's lying compared to the lines again, but I don't know. I'm gonna go for it. All right, birdie. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. 29. We're out in 29. We're back in in 29, rather. Okay. 61, 11 Beautiful back that nine, at least. Round to remember. Beautiful so back nine. All, at all, of us here at EA Sports. all right, we'll take it. So 61. I can definitely go lower, though. I feel like if I tried that again, I could get to like 15. 100%. Now that I know how the spin works, now that I know how the power drives, well, the power drives weren't too hard to figure out, but the spin, like getting that to actually work properly is actually kind of difficult. So yeah, uh, that's the easiest difficulty, guys. If you want to see me play on the sim difficulty, perhaps in a tournament with my own guy, there's a seasonal tournament that that's the sim one, um, which I can do. But that's basically the hardest difficulty, the hardest everything. Um, no, no nothing. It's really difficult. So I I think that that would be a real fun, fun one. And it's entry fee is... Actually, uh, zero as well. Sloaner shot 17 under on it, by the way. Um, oh, no, it says 13 under, but it says he's 17 under. That's weird. I think Respawn so shot something like eight under. And I think that might be him in second place there. Uh, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Um, yeah, Respawn's in second place, actually. So I'd take anything under par on this one, honestly. Like, anything under par for me on this would be would be really good, I think, because I haven't played on Sim yet. So um, my first delve into Sim, perhaps, tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this easiest difficulty video. I'll see you tomorrow for the hardest. Peace out.